On this video we're going to have a look at how you could uh, draw maybe acrylic or aluminium that has been bent to a straight angle. Uh, perhaps with acrylic you would use the strip heater. First thing I'm going to do is draw myself a frame and I want it standing up because I'm going to draw the edge of the acrylic that's bent. So I'm going to draw on the this work plane here. I'm going to draw a frame roughly of the, the width and height I want my product to be. So right now it looks like that is 120, 130 by 180. Let's just say that was the size I want it to be. So I'm going to leave that like that. I want uh, this line at the bottom to indicate the, the bottom part and I'm going to draw another line here from here to here like that. That I can then trim a little bit because I don't need that, I don't need that, and I don't need that. That leaves me a line here and a line here because that's what I'm going to draw my acrylic bent to. All right. Now this, this corner here is a little bit sharp. When we bend acrylic or aluminium or anything like that, generally we have a curve in this part here. So I'm going to use a tool called fillet tool which rounds off sharp corners. If I move over there you can see that it's going to give me that red curve there. That's maybe a bit drastic. I'm going to bring it down to a bit more of a slightly uh, less curve to a 10 millimeter radius. Uh, it's just really correct by my eye. It doesn't have to be massively accurate. So I've got this kind of shape here that I want to show as bent acrylic. I'm going to use the offset tool to give me a second line to be uh, our acrylic at nest is three millimeters usually so I'm going to make that second line three millimeters it's not joined at the ends here so I'm just going to cut zoom into that I'm going to use the line tool here to close that part off because it's not a complete shape yet so I can't extrude that I'm going to come back in here I'm going to join that up to there now when I join these two lines together you can see it went a slightly different color there that means it's a closed shape and it can be extruded click on extrude click on that shape and then all of a sudden, I've got my piece of bent acrylic, which obviously I can put to a specified width. I'm going to go for 150 there. And there I have a piece of bent acrylic like that. Now, obviously, when I was drawing my side profile, if I put another line across here, then I could have made it a kind of Z kind of shape or an S. Uh, and obviously you can draw any shape that you want in there depending on what shape you want to bend it to and that will give you your bent acrylic.